Hey guys, it's HD here coming at you live with a tutorial on how I run Switch games on my computer and mod them. I've made a bunch of modding videos on the channel and have received a lot of comments asking how I did it. So for my videos, I don't actually mod my Switch itself, but rather use an emulator running on my PC. This tutorial will be for Switch emulators like Yuzu and Ryujinx, not modding the actual Switch console itself. But let's get into it. So right off the bat, getting the emulators themselves. These allow you to run Switch games right off of your PC. I'm going to be using Yuzu, which is one of the best and stable emulators, but the other top one is Ryujinx. Both are extremely similar in how you install mods, so it's really a personal preference. Yuzu allows Windows and Linux support, while Ryujinx also includes macOS as well. So now onto the website itself, as you can see, Nintendo Switch Emulator. Click on the download tab at the top, and on this page you'll see a big green button for the download to Windows. You'll get an installer, mine looks like this because I already have it installed, so I can only update it or uninstall it. Follow the usual installation prompts until Yuzu launches. Right away you'll see this big message to add a games list. Basically when you download games you can place them all in the same folder and then add that folder to Yuzu. Double click and navigate around your files until you find the folder with your games and select it. Now every time you launch Yuzu, you'll just have your list of games to click on and play. Under the emulation tab at the top, select configure. Here you can mess around with all the graphical and audio settings you want. My PC is about 5 years old at this point, so most of my settings are set to the lowest. But here, you can see all of my choices to have it running smoothly. If you have a better computer than an i5-7600 with an NVIDIA GTX 1080, you can probably crank some of these settings up. Anyway, the last tab here is controls, which is where you can map a controller to the emulator. I personally just hook up my Switch Pro controller to the PC via the same USB-C cable you use to charge it, as it connects to your PC flawlessly. Now that your Yuzu emulator is set up, we need games. You cannot just shove Switch cartridges into the PC, so we gotta find them. This is the part of emulation that Nintendo and a lot of uh, legal people hate, as we have to download them from the internet. Due to legal reasons I don't fully understand or agree with, I cannot link sites to download games from. My video will get taken down and Nintendo might come and hide me away for a while. But personally, I would just either Google Yuzu Guide Reddit or look at the GitHub link in the description. Just be careful because most of the websites that store these games are littered with ads and you could get a virus if you click one of those fake download buttons. Anyway, for the games themselves, you want to look for .nsp files, as those are the ones that Yuzu can run. They're usually around 7 gigabytes in size, but some are smaller and some are larger. Brilliant Diamond is only 4.5 gigs, for example. But once you've successfully downloaded some games and you want to play or mod, we can go on to the next step. Going back to Yuzu, place your games in the folder you specified as the games directory, and they should just pop up on the home menu now. Before we play anything though, and you might have saw a window about this pop up, we need to install keys that basically say, hey, this is a real switch. You can either dump your keys from your actual Switch, which requires modding, so it's not really recommended, or you can find them online again. I am not able to show you where to get these keys again because this video would be taken down, but just like games, either Google search Yuzu keys or take a peek at the GitHub in the description. Once you have your keys, go back to Yuzu, click the file tab at the top of the screen and click open Yuzu folder. From here, you'll see a set of folders, mine is probably one or two that I have that you probably don't because I've already used Yuzu a bunch. But the folder should look pretty similar. Create a new folder simply called keys and place your two files into it. Again, these two files can either be found online or dumping your switch keys from your actual one. Also, you may only have a prod.keys file and not the second one. Like me, the title.keys file can be auto-generated so I don't believe you need to download it. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, you're good with keys after that. There's only one more thing you need to install, the firmware. This helps patch some games so they run better, but is highly recommended to just have in general. Similar to keys, I cannot show you the exact spot, but either Google Yuzu firmware or check the GitHub. A simple Google search brings up a couple of good websites for it though. But once you have the folder downloaded, open up the Yuzu folder again, click on NAND, System, Contents, Registered, and then place all the files into there should look something like this when it's all said and done. I know those last two steps were kind of a pain, but the hard part is over. So if you want to just play the games themselves like normal, you can just click on one and it'll start to run. So yeah, if you don't want any mods, you can just go right into it and go. But for those who want to mod the games, let's show you how to do it. 
There's a bunch of modding websites out there, but my personal favorite is GameBanana.com. They have mods for pretty much every Switch game out there and have hundreds for some of the more popular ones. For this example, I'm going to find a mod for Super Mario Odyssey. I enter the game as Super Mario Odyssey and let's look for a Moon Jump mod. This was a mod I featured in my video, so I know it works. Not a lot of description on the page itself, but just scroll down until you find the manual download button. This brings you to a separate page, but just click download again and you'll get a zip file. Here's where things get a little interesting. Different mods and creators will contain different folders. Some will look like this where it has the name of the mod and then inside contains the ID for the actual Switch game and then we'll have the ROMFS folder. The ROMFS folder is what we need. Switch back to Yuzu, right click on the game you want to mod and select open mod data location. This brings up a folder with the game ID we saw earlier. This is where you place mods. For the sake of keeping things organized, create a folder in here with the name of the mod. You can just make a new folder here for each mod you want to add, and you'll see why soon. But I just named it Moon Jump. Now inside that folder, you can drag the ROMFS folder from the mod you downloaded. And boom, the mod is officially installed. You might need to restart Yuzu, but once you do, the mod will be automatically turned on. If you right-click on the game and select Properties, you'll be shown a list of all the quote-unquote patches you put in the game. If you want to turn a mod off for the time being, just uncheck it and click OK. But when you want to have them on, just have them checked. But with the mod on, it'll work in the game. As you can see in Mario Odyssey, Mario is jumping around higher and longer than he should. But that's all there really is to it though. Two quick things to note, updates and missing folders. Some mods or games may need updates as you normally download the base 1.0.0 versions from online. You can find these updates in the same places that you find the games, either with a Google search or the GitHub in the description. The other issue I run into when installing mods is that the download from Game Banana does not give you the folders you need. Again, the ROM FS folder is what we need, but some modders only include subfolders in the download. So for the Mario Odyssey example, you may only get the object data folder. If this happens, simply create the ROM FS folder yourself and place that folder into it. It's important we always have the ROM FS folder at the base of each mod. So add it in manually if you need to. But yeah, that's really all of my knowledge and experience modding Switch games. I'm gonna do one more example as requested by a viewer who wanted to know how to randomize Pokemon games. Some Pokemon games already have mods made for them automatically that randomize the game, like this one for Sword and Shield. In the same fashion as the other mods, you can just grab the ROM FS folder from the download and slap it into the mods directory. As for something like Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, someone made a tool that you can randomize every aspect of the game yourself. Both will be linked in the description below for- Yeah, 